This afternoon, we're going to talk about hooking up multiple camp appliances to a single bulk tank. Now this bulk tank still has fuel in it. It is definitely uh, past the refillable stage. We're gonna run this gas out and uh, do a trade in on it. Um, but so let's say you're gonna go camping in the winter. There's nothing quite like having your own hot shower. You wanna have a warm tent when you go to bed and when you get up in the morning. Maybe not necessarily while you're sleeping overnight, but you need to have a heater, a water heater or hot shower, as they like to call them, the stove, and you're probably going to want a lantern. That's four devices. Well, you can use one of these. This is a propane distribution tree, and it has one, two, three outlets and one inlet. Unfortunately, that doesn't allow you to add your fourth. That's where that's where this Y comes in. This has an acne threaded fitting that goes onto the valve and two acne POL con connections um, the Acme thread is just a standard right-hand thread. It's a very coarse one, so it starts pretty easily without giving it a whole lot of thought and threads right on. The particular propane distribution tree that I'm using is from Century Manufacturing, and I don't know if they still make them. I have not seen them on the market for quite some time. Um, if they're still available, I'd actually like to buy a second one, but that's neither here nor there. This one here clamps to the safety ring. This part here is called the safety ring on your propane tank. The reason it's called a safety ring is it keeps things from banging into your valve and potentially breaking it off. This has a POL on this end. The POL on this has a plastic hand wheel, I'll show you one in a minute, that has a metal one. The POL is a left-handed thread. As you get started, make sure that it's not cross-threading before you run it in. So now, <clears throat> You have one, two, three, four ports. This one on top, you just screw a lantern directly to. But how do you make these connections? Well, you're going to need hoses. Like I said, there's a couple of different types of POLs, or a couple of different types of tank connectors. We showed you the POL with the plastic thumb wheel. That's a POL with a metal one. And this hose, I believe, is six feet. And here's a 12 foot Acme thread. So we simply thread that on. Only hand tight, you don't want to over tighten. And then you run the hose over to your appliance. Now, we also have appliance to post hoses. Um, these particular ones were from Camco. There's a lot of other manufacturers. The Camco has a very supple hose that stays soft and pliable, even in cold weather, which is why I prefer these. You simply line up the, well, the pin on the female threaded end with the hole, guide it past the seal, 
and line up the threads and start screwing them together. Now on this post, both sides will thread on. And of course, the other one. Okay, <clears throat> now we have our hoses, so let's give a quick rundown. The inside diameter of the Y is the same on both sides. This side is split into three. This side only feeds one. So with the propane heater being the largest fuel draw appliance we have, we're going to run this hose to the heater. Next up, as far as fuel draw goes, is going to be your stove, especially if you're using both burners. So you want your stove connected to the bottom, your shower, which gets used less frequently, and then your lantern at the top. Okay, well, remember, before you go lighting everything, connect this up at both ends, turn the gas on, and use soapy water on every connection and all the way across every hose looking for any blowing bubbles. Any bubbles that are growing, not, you know, bubbles that you carry over with the soapy water, but new bubbles. Um, and that's, that's it. Just make sure you're not leaking and then you're safe to go. <clears throat> if you do find a leak, like I've said before, you find a leak, fix it. It's far too important to make sure that your propane is operating safely. Okay, well, that's our video for today. I thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked what you saw, please click like, subscribe, and share my content. Please go back and watch the old stuff. Uh, there's a lot of good material there for you to enjoy. And like I always say, get out there, be busy, be safe, but most of all, be blessed. I'll talk to you later.